What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by Stellar, and we're taking a look at the really, really awesome XL Repair Tool. This thing is built for XLS and XL um, SX files, which is really, really cool. And I know a lot of you guys work in the corporate environment, or maybe you just work jobs, and a lot of jobs tend to require some Excel knowledge these days, which means you're constantly working with numbers, graphs, lines, you know, um, pivot tables, VLOOKUPs, all these really, really interesting things. Um, but the problem is, every once in a while, something goes wrong, and you know, you might have a job that, uh, you know, your boss has told you that to do due date is the 16th of May and right now you have one day left and all of a sudden you have all your work done and then you go to open your file and something went catastrophically wrong absolutely completely wrong your file won't open or worse a file will open and it's just numbers and all the work you've done is gone it doesn't have the formatting or anything excel has a tendency to you know just glitch out every once in a while it does actually happen so this particular repair tool can fix everything with 100 percent integrity and it works from everything from 2016 to excel 2019 which is really really cool now what are the warnings that we don't want to see as you guys can see, this is what we don't want. These are the bubbles that Microsoft tends to give us. Um, for example, Excel cannot open the file, error.xlsx, not something you want to see, not fun at all, which is, you know, just not something we would do with on a day-to-day -day basis because it means your Excel file is screwed, except the fact that it's not because we have access to the software. We also have Excel file not opening due to corruption. Sometimes Microsoft Excel would give you a blunt, hey, your file's corrupt and, you know, it's just not going to open. And you're like, well, this is a hopeless cause. What do we do? Last but not least, Excel can find unreadable content. So, of course, in some cases, it will go and open the file, but it won't remember the formatting and stuff, which is not good. So what this allows you to do, as you can see, it's verified by Cena and all that as well. Um, you can actually go and it can fix a variety of different corruption errors. So the biggest of which we have a fixed large size Excel file. So let's say you have a workbook and something of those sorts and you want to be able to do, you know, repair multiple Excel files in one big hit. You can go ahead and do that as well. No matter how big this particular file is, this thing can go and work on it. Next off, it also resolves all um, Excel corruption errors. So if you're getting random errors, maybe file names are not valid or something of those sorts, you can go ahead and fix that as well. You can also preview the file before you can actually go and you actually go fully hit the repair button so you can make sure everything is coming back properly and last but not least this thing is going to recover all the objects which means your series trend lines your conditional formatting rules your properties um, of the worksheet every single thing from the numbers the text the rules it's going to bring it back properly which is really really cool there's some extra features in here as well but for now let's jump into the software itself when you open it it's super simple like this may be the simplest software i've ever seen but it does it's such a powerful piece of software it's really really cool all right so jump into the program here as you guys can see we have to go and to select a particular file so I'm gonna go ahead and choose a particular corrupted file that I have here is some sample safety data that we have and what I'm gonna go ahead and do inside of here um, you can choose multiple files so you can bulk fix um, files as well which is really really important and we're gonna go ahead and hit repair it's gonna go ahead and show you guys this and show you how long it's gonna to take to repair this particular file and boom it actually went ahead and repaired this file and opened it up in Excel but we don't even need to open up Excel because it'll show you a quick preview of the file directly inside of here okay so as you guys can see it's really really awesome so the next thing we can do is go ahead and take a look at the data itself as you guys can see it brought all my awesome data back how cool is that you can go ahead and save the file directly from here you can remove the file select the file and also give you a cool little log report on what it was able to do but what's really awesome is you have a mini version of excel right in here so you can go ahead and maybe even tweak this file before you go ahead and to save it which is really really awesome so you can go ahead and at least see what's happening you can go ahead and see the particular data entries um, choose particular folders and and of course, sort by whatever you need to sort by. I'll just give you a quick, nice little preview, which is really, really cool. Um, inside of here, we can jump all the way to the bottom. So let's see, uh, I want to jump all the way down there. Look how much data it was able to bring back, and it did it perfectly in order. As you can see, all of my grouping that I had, this thing has maintained, which is really, really cool. Um, I also have the instructions here, the links. Every single thing was brought back, which is really, really awesome. I'm a big fan of the software, and you can go ahead and do multiple iterations at the same time, which is really, really awesome. Now, can this open it in Excel? That's the next question. So, of course, we need to go ahead and check on this particular file so where exactly are we gonna go and save this particular um, iteration of work to so I'm gonna hit save file and I'm gonna select a new folder I'm gonna hit browse and we're gonna save this to my downloads folder so let me double click my name and where's downloads stop hiding there it is 
hit OK. And it's going to export that, you know, now that I've previewed it and check that everything is perfectly fine. All right, so here's the file itself. We're going to go ahead and see if this can actually open it in Excel. And just like that, my file is perfectly fine. I don't want to sign in right now. But as you guys can see, every single section of it is perfectly back to normal, which is really, really awesome. How cool is that? I'm able to see all my information again. And of course, as you guys can see, we can check the links and all that. And all in all, it's just really good software. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.